Hi there. So today we have a few things. First of all, I missed a few things last time because there were still some updates, some, still some drip marketing to be made on the official Twitter. Um, so last time, I think I was talking about this skin for Ayase and I was saying how I'm pretty upset because the Benoit is not there anymore, which is obviously a big problem. Now, uh, we do have the dynamic visual here so we can see her in all of her glory um jiggling and wiggling and physicking she's boobly bubbly how what's the what's the what's the word they say she's boobing she's she's womanly boobling there's a there's a the word about it i don't remember what it is i, I had a friend that told me that it was a thing now there's a word for that it's like it's boobily she's Breasting boobily, yes, exactly. She is breasting boobily in this one. Uh, unfortunately, well, Twitter compression is very, very bad, so we can't see anything. It's all blurry, but I mean, it's still here. I still don't really like it. Now, we have had some new skin shown, and here we have Himmel Beyond Love's Boundaries. In pursuit of being an even greater idol, I prepared this new outfit, KMS Z35, changing into a new attire. And we can see her here, and I actually really like that skin. I think it's very cute. Amongst the new skin, I think she's one of the best. Um, and here we have her in a um, idol outfit. She kind of looks like a magical girl like this, obviously, especially with like the hard, like thing she has on the ribbon. I think this one is a. Uh, it's among the cutest. I, I prefer that kind of skin, to be honest. I know a lot of people are into the, the absolute uh, degen stuff, which is fine. No problem with that. But here I think it's very cute. You see a lot of ribbons, a lot of... Uh, it's just adorable. Look at that. And then there's like a little creature here. I don't know what this is. It has a bow tie for some reason. No, wait, is that a bow tie? No, it's a tie. Uh, it's a lot of flowers, crystal. This like this gives me vibe of like uh, Kiki's delivery service. Especially with the background and the way she's floating around. Anyway, she's very cute. Obviously, she's having the idol pose. To be fair, she should be winking right now, so I'm pretty disappointed. And even in the emotion, there's no, there's not a winking once, surprisingly. I feel like an idol. As an idol, you're supposed to be at least winking once. It is what it is. Um, incredibly disappointed. Literally unplayable. Insane. Can't buy this skin. Um, I really like the shoes too. I kind of want to get shoes like that. Also, the socks are very cute. I wish I had socks like this. Okay, just the skin showcase is just me being jealous about the clothes, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's adorable. It's probably what I do, like, because I do intend to get, like, the back thingy, so I'm probably gonna end up with one of the skins, because I'm I'm not that lucky, so I'll probably end up with, like, Winter's Beauty or something like that. Now, we had another skin, and this is more on the Degen side of things. Uh, this is certainly too much for me. Caught under the lights, Commander, shoot, I... I can't explain this in just one sentence. Please, just help me. So, this is a skin for IJ and Fubuki. And, um... Uh, I actually got her today. She's the sheep I got from construction today. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I, I think this here is where it gets a bit... Like... <sighs> What do you want this to Like, what is this? Like, she's in a bodysuit, I guess. But it looks like she's also, like, in a maid-ish outfit. And she's stuck in the water and tangle. Like, this is close to being shibari at this point. Isn't it? It's close to being shibari. That's a bit much. Wait, that's not the first time it happened? What the hell? Okay, so yeah, this is a bit much for me. I don't, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm sure some people like this stuff. Um, I, I, it doesn't bother me, but I would. Uh, if if she looked like a proper adult, I would be okay with it. This is a bit too lolly for me. Okay. Uh, so I, 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 I don't really like this. I think it's a bit over the top. It makes me slightly uncomfortable, not gonna lie. Like, if this was Musashi, I'd be like, yeah, bet. It's just another day in Azure Lane. 
Well, I mean, to be fair, this is just not a day in the zoo lane, but this would, I like, I would be like, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Anyway, this is the bag, the Dreamland Lucky Bag A. As usual for those big events, we are getting a big bear. Get that bag, baby! In which they have this beautiful, beautiful array of skin that you can get because you get one random skin among these selections. So obviously, this is a Dreamland Lucky Bag selection. And we have all of these new ones. Surprisingly, we actually... This one is not part of the Dreamland. Uh, I guess not. Yeah, I guess it's not part of the Dreamland. Um, I wonder what collection it's part of. I don't know. But I guess it's not part of the Dreamland. So, um, yeah, we get either... I mean, there is like... This is like the new characters... Um, this one is not a new character. I don't remember her name, but I actually really like her outfit. So here she has like a, a, a ball gown, a uh, ball dress. I think it's actually pretty cute. Uh, I think it's one of the, the, the more tame one, and thank God. Here, this one is actually very beautiful. I, I, I thought about it before already. I really like the butterfly. Um, I like butterfly. I like the color. I think it looks very good with the big ribbons as well. I think it's a, it's a very good skin in my opinion. Here we obviously have the L2D. Um, this is a great one. There's a fucking plane flying around. This is a great one for people who are into, uh, Jesus Christ, that plane. There are people who are into feet. There's a lot of feet in this one. Also, she's doing something with that wand. Um, it's like a, a cane, I guess. She, she has it suspiciously cr close to her crotch. This one is outrageous. She's opening a beer. Uh, with her bra, and obviously the, the, the booba is flying around. I, I think this, to me, is just way too much. Uh, this one is also... She loses the bunoi, so obviously it's trash. This one is pretty good. Like, amongst the two Life 2D ones, I think the one for this girl is the best one. I don't remember her name. Yamazu-sumazwa... It's something with wa. Wasame? What? No, wame. Wa. It's a mermaid. <laughs> I don't remember her name, okay? I can't remember her name. Then, obviously, here we have Ark Royale's new Dreamland skin, which I. It's like. This is supposed to be a skin for a, 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 a theme park, and she's like. in a. like underwear. Uh, it's kind of crazy. And then here we have the magical girl, obviously. Then the pack itself, I feel like it's pretty good value. You get over 2,000 gems, you get a bunch of cubes, you get some of those uh, old, like, thing 7 thingies, some drills, some decor coins, some cognitive chips. Overall, I think it's pretty good, because if you look at the... That's the wrong thing. If you look at the game, like, if you look at the shop, how much is, like, 2k gems? Yeah, look at that. Like, if you want 2k gems, it's like this pack and this pack together. It's not even enough. So let's say, if you want at least 2k gem, you have to pay 40, 40 bucks, right? And this is like the 2 times bonus, which like most people maybe won't have access to, right? Uh, so by comparison here, for 30 bucks, you get 2k gems and a bunch of other things, a free random skin. Uh, so I think in terms of value, if you really want to get... The uh the bank bank bug for your bank bank for your bug bug for your potato. Anyway, there's an expression about it, and I'm a stupid potato, so I don't know what it is. Uh, so anyway, I think this is the most valuable thing. This is jolly what I buy because it gives me a lot of resources. I'm a happy cat. It is what it is. Apart from like the battle pass, sometimes obviously. Uh, and here there is a fair question, which is what's the difference between L2D and dynamic though? And uh, I know a lot of people have this question. I personally also had this question. So from what I understand, the dynamic skins, they have a little bit of movement. They're like on a loop, essentially. Meanwhile, the L2D have more animations and they also have some reaction if you click on them specifically, uh, which means that there's a bit more there. This is the difference from what I understand. Um, yeah, that's it. So anyway, I think this is nice. This is probably what I, I'm personally going to be getting. Like, if there was a skin for one of my favorite characters that I absolutely love, maybe I would buy the skin specifically. But here, I i don't really care what I get. Um, obviously, I'd rather get a, like, if I had to say my favorite, it would be the mermaid skin. Well, the skin for the mermaid girl. The butterfly one here. 
Um, I mean, I wouldn't be upset with that Maggie 2 skin, to be honest, but it wouldn't be my favorite. Maybe the, the cat girl skin or the, the lady over there. They're cute as well. Now we have obviously an announcement for the maintenance, which is going to be happening later today. Man, it's already coming out. It's like crazy. Now we have the official announcement for the Ode of Ever Blooming Crimson, which is the new big event that's going to obviously be introducing a bunch of new characters, including Amagi CV and all of the other ships we've been discussing in the previous video. And this obviously is going to be a follow-up to all the events that have been leading up to this, right? Over the, the past events, if you've been following the story, there's a lot of things going on with illusions and dreams. And uh, there's a whole thing with the Sakura Empire, with the tree and a ritual going on. Essentially, Amagi... Akagi, sorry, is trying to revive her sister, who's like sleeping in the Sakura tree or whatever. Uh, so there's a lot of shenanigans, and this is gonna be the culmination of all of this, and hopefully the, um, they're gonna be resolving uh, the entire situation, so good stuff, good stuff. Now we also have an overview of all of the things that you can expect from said patch. This is the quote-unquote patch note, and here we have officially, we have the banner. So we can see in the event construction banner, we have a Maggie CV as a rate up. Obviously, she's UR. So I think the rate up puts her at maybe like 2%, something like that, maybe. I'm not sure. Someone is going to have to confirm that. I'm not a big professional when it comes to Azure Lane rates. I've got so many rates in my head because I play so many gachas. I play like over 10 gachas and everything's getting confused. Oh, the memory's name is Watarase. I was close. Um, so Amagi, Wataraze, and Suzunami are both gonna have their rate up here, um, which is nice. I'm mostly interested in Amagi. Personally, I'm gonna be pulling, I want at least one copy of everyone. I like collectioning waifus, so, and, and cutie pies. It's like waifus and daughter. And then we have Hie Meta. And this is what I was saying earlier. I'm surprised because to me, I'm a recent player. I only started playing like two months ago, I think, something like that. And this is the first time that I see a meta ship in a event banner. Um, so I don't know how this works, actually. So someone in chat, someone in the comments is going to have to explain to me how this functions. Because <laughs> I don't know how it is. Because so far, I've only seen the, the meta ship from either the battle pass missions where you just get copies from playing the game and uh, also from the uh, meta showdown. Uh, so here, I, I assume we're getting, when you get copies of her, they give you the, the crystals that you need to upgrade them. Um, but yeah, this is surprising. I think she looks fantastic, by the way. Uh, I think that my favorite ships in amongst the new ones is definitely Yamagi and Hie. Now we have, obviously, the Ode of Ever Blooming Crimson, which is going to be the story. We have all of the new skins, which I've went over. And uh, we also have the PT Rewards. What's PT Rewards? Um, is this... I assume this is points that you get from the event that you can then use to exchange for copies of those characters. Um, like what we had with Herring and uh, Fargo in the previous events. Points reward, yeah. So I, I think this is how it functions here. And then we have some rerun skin, which is uh, we're still on the summer events um, or summer style skins. So getting a bunch of swimsuit rerun. Um, here I can see a bunch of characters like uh, Shimikaze, Shimakaze, Shimi, Shi, Shi, Shikan, Shikan. Uh, the Dream Day in Dream Park. I don't know what this is about actually. Um, outfits, limited construction. Sorty, Manju, Sorty Limited Construction Outfit, Dream Day. So I guess this is just an event that we're going to be getting after the Order of River Blooming Crimson that's going to be around the, the Dreamland uh, theme, which has all of the, some of the skin we've seen, obviously. We've had a small event kind of introducing us to, to this thing here with the VR theme park, I guess. Then we have the Manju Cake Tower that's running here. Which I assume is just more of the tower thingy where you like stack the little 
grows on top of each other, but this time it's gonna be cake, I guess. And here they show us the Dreamland Lucky Bag A, which cause is there like a Lucky Bag B or something? A fashion collection Lucky Bag rerun. Ooh. Interesting. Maybe I'll get this. Who knows? I see a hot girls on this. And now we have obviously a special looking campaign, which is very usual. A battle UI pack. So I think this is a lot of um just weapon skins. We have a new furniture pack that's about a dream park. And we have two permanent skins being added. One for Emden and one for U81. They seem to be themed after like Lantern Ride kind of stuff. Uh, so that's some good stuff. Um, Tied to the current event for Mutsuki skin. Yeah, exactly. Like there's Mutsuki skins. There's uh, Ark Royal skin. There's a bunch of characters that are getting the dream park theme kind of skins, right? Uh, which is why I was kind of surprised because here, like, a lot of those characters have the theme park. Uh, but somehow, in the... We can see the, the pack here. Right there. We see this pack and it's all Dreamland, right? But somehow, for some reason, this skin is not part of it. So I don't know what's going on with this one. Because this one doesn't seem to be part of it, but when we check their patch note... You can actually see her there. She's part. She's on this uh, image with the others. So I, I, I don't know why she's not part of the, the thing. Maybe she's a free skin that you can get. Uh, and that's why she's not part of the, the Dreamland Lucky Bag. But honestly, I'm still kind of new to this. Um, and so I am um, i don't get it at all. But here we have the best thing. It's here. It's Enterprise. I'm so sad that there's no sound here because I would love to listen to her try to play the Shamisen. <laughs> no! <laughs> She's so sad! <laughs> oh my god, poor Enterprise! Like, look at her! She's so adorable, dude! I need to get Enterprise and I need to get Leo. There is a little Enterprise, right? Little Enterprise? A zero lane? There has to be a little Enterprise. That is a lot of like chibi. There is! Oh my god! Look at her! Oh, she's so cute! <laughs> uh, with a little mandrews here. Yeah, I don't know. I love Ugh, this is so cute. Anyway, like this, this right there is true pain. It like, I can feel my Kokoro breaking into a thousand pieces when I see their face here. Uh, anyway, so yeah, overall we have a lot of stuff coming in. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to get a Maggie. And uh, yeah, let me know what's got you most hyped for. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.